I'm trying a new look. Well, I'm moving a chair four foot. I know. Rusty's probably not going to be hanging around for very long in this video because it is incredibly warm. But I sit down and he's insistent on jumping up. Do you want to get down? No. I'll, I'll be back in a minute. Really, the purpose of this video is to share my experience of light stands. Admittedly, I don't have a huge experience with them, but what I do have is... Uh, they're all crap, <laughs> basically. When I first started uh, shooting YouTube videos, I was using the really, well, basically cheap light stands like this. The eBay specials, as I call them. And, they, I mean, they did... They did the job. They worked for the lights that I was using at the time. But then as I started to use bigger lights, obviously they were no good. So I needed something he more heavy duty. So about four years ago, I bought a pair of these, which if you've looked for light stands, you'll probably see them advertised as the heavy duty light stands. And I bought a pair of these from Newer and they cost about 70, 75 pounds for the pair. And to be fair, they're pretty heavy duty. There, there was a, a fair weight to them and they worked. They did the job. But over time, I've started to find they just fall to pieces. Number one is that the paint on it just gets torn to shreds. And after a while, it's almost like it, it's just warped. So it, it's dead stiff to, to move it around. And then, ugh, yeah. And then the locking nuts on these are, well, this top one's broke. So I can't actually tighten this entire top section into place. It's just, well, yeah. So that limits how high the light stand's actually able to go. So I got two years out of them and then decided enough was enough. I couldn't handle them anymore. And I ended up replacing them with basically a very similar design. But these are from TFJ. Now, it looks very similar in style to the newer, but there's a, a couple of subtle differences, like slightly different um, uh, screw, uh, thumb screws and stuff, that made me think maybe they're not just made in the same factory and they're all identical, that perhaps it's just a, a general design and maybe the newers are just a lower quality. So I thought I'd try these ones instead. Ended up keeping one newer just as a, a backup, the, the best of a bad bunch, really, and slung the other one. And then I've had a pair of these. Now, I've had this for about two years as well, and it's in a bit better condition than the newer, but it's still not great. The, the bottom bit at least freely moves, although it is starting to lose paint. The top, however, whilst I can at least... Can I lock this? Yes, I can at least lock it now, but trying to move it is not the easiest. And again, which is what's causing all of this paint to come off is just it's it's too tight. And I don't know why, because it wasn't like that when I, when I first got it. Now, one thing with all of these as well is that the bottom of them is buffered by a spring. You can actually hear it and see it for that matter. You know, if you accidentally loosen this while there's a heavy light on there, it's going to come down. So at least the spring does stop it from having a, a hard stop and shock in the light. It, it takes the edge off, but it does throw it round quite a bit. And I mean, I've only had it a couple of times where it's done that, but it's not the most pleasant having a light bouncing around everywhere. And you think, Christ, what the hell's going on? Now, while those two TFJs are still usable, I've ended up buying uh, some other ones from, uh, who, who the hell is it? Len Carter. And similar basic design, but with quite a few differences that make it clear that they're not just, they're definitely not a rebranded version of these. And I thought I'd give them a go. Now, I've only just got these. So, you know, I don't know what they're going to be like in two years time. Maybe that'll be a follow up video. But there's a couple of differences with these, certainly, if you do come across them. Firstly, the cheaper. I think these were sub 70 quid for the pair rather than 75. Secondly, is they're still metal, but the metal's not quite as thick, 
it's a matte finish rather than a gloss finish and it does feel like the center column slightly thinner when you try and wiggle it round there's a little bit more play in it than on the other ones that I've been using. I'm using the second one right now with the Golden Eagle 3000 and a, a big softbox on there as well. And it's, you know, it's perfectly fine for those sorts of weights. It's more if you were going ridiculously extreme, it might be a problem. And rather than a spring, they appear to have what they call a air damper. I'm not entirely sure. They've got something in there that rather than it dropping down ridiculously quick and then shocking on a spring, it's supposed to bring it down more gradually. My only concern really about these at the moment is the locking nuts. On the other lights, they've been a plastic grip, but inside has been a metal screws, which is incidentally what went wrong on the newer. It's a... It's like a standard length screw and then they've then put a bolt on top of it and an enlarger ring to grip into it all and it appears the enlarger ring and the nut have come off the smaller bolt and have got stuck in the light stand. So it's got nothing, to, it can't actually get far enough in to get a grip on the centre column itself. These are entirely plastic, which I don't know. I can't decide if this is going to be a bad thing or a good thing. Provided these don't snap then I, I think this should be a better system because it's one complete unit rather than four parts all stuck together. One thing about these, however, that I do really like over the other light stands is this top section. So on all the other ones, it's just a, a standard head with a quarter inch screw. That's pretty standard. But they're stuck in and on the newers, they, were, they were, had a bolt through them and on the TFJs, they were almost just kind of planted in, but you could still spin them around. And what I found is over time, much like the cheap eBay light stands, with weight on them, it rocks the head around back and forth, and they eventually start coming loose to the point that on the newers and on some of the other light stands I've got, there is a lot of wobble. These have gone with a different approach on two accounts. For starters, you get a thumb screw up here, and it's removable. It's not fastened into a thin metal barrel, it's on a thick head and it screws in quite securely and also it's double-ended piece with a, th uh, a 3 8 of an inch on the other side if you want to mount it the other way round and then that just gives you the ability to add different mounts to the top which is, which is good and the fact that you can then mount them 90 degrees so that you can have a light more sticking out and hanging more vertical over your subjects which is something that i don't use that often but it is something that i've found at times with the other light stands that i just couldn't get the light head to drop far enough down without say the softbox crashing into the stand this will fix that problem uh, they're not they don't feel quite as heavy duty as the heavy duty light stands but they feel heavy duty enough for what i generally use them for i think these ones were just too excessive for my personal needs and I've found that they're just, within about two years, they're just becoming a pain in the ass. I suppose if you're in a permanent studio setup, you know, where you, you set the light stands up and that's it, they don't move. Or, you know, you can move them around the room but you're not constantly taking them up and putting them down, you're probably fine. But I got mine for more portable setups where I'm going to different locations or shooting weddings or going to different venues where the stands are constantly being packed down and put them back up and then put back down and put back up and over time clearly they've just started to wear out with the paint coming off and screws starting to fail and yeah two years and they're just becoming more hassle than they're worth. The Len Carter ones seem to be a better overall design but they don't feel quite as heavy duty and so I suppose it will be a case of wait two years and see what they're what they're like and I'll come back to you with it. But I will leave links to all of these types of light stands in the description down below just in case you wish to check them out. As always, if you have any questions or queries, please feel free to drop them in the comments down below. While you're down there, if you enjoyed this video and you haven't already done so, then please consider hitting the like and subscribe button and hopefully I will see you in the next video. Now, should we go and get you some water?